All right, friends. Thanksgiving story for all of you. Fun little one. A turkey for Thanksgiving. Very cute. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and holiday break. All right, friends. Here we go. By Eve Bunting. A turkey for Thanksgiving. A turkey for Thanksgiving. Cute little pilgrims and turkey here. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Mrs. Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here. Porcupine here. Mr. and Mrs. Goat here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? Their house is all decorated. Some corn. This is Moose is setting the table. Mr. Moose is helping. Mrs. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of the table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of tails between the candle, candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose run. Nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Moose's breath, Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time, he called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river, Mrs. Goat told him. And Mr. Goat added, a fat one. The goats leaped down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was further up the hillside, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time? He bellowed. First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, Sheep called. Wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung, black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said, and put down his quills. We're off to get a turkey for Mrs. Moose, Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who'd want to pick you up, sheep asked and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. I guess sheep thinks those quills would not be fun to pick up. They saw Turkey's nest right away and Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey, Turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ag! Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Turkey ran faster. There's a 
rabbit pointing to him. Turkey sees them, of course. He's got his fun signs there. No turkey here. Do not disturb. Come back after Thanksgiving. Wonder why turkey's running. Hmm, they want a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. Oh, look at Mr. Goat even has a fork in his hand. Oh, poor Turkey. He helped Turkey up. My wo wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go. It's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this, for I can see that you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said, but I must insist. A promise is a promise. They're all trailing behind Moose and Turkey. The goats, sheep, porcupine, and rabbit. There was a wreath of dried fruit on the Moose's door. Inside the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid Turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine. And ta-da! He pushed Turkey around in front of him for you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you, Turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we sit, Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Oh, let's, Mrs. Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, and look, I brought a chair from the other room in hopes of a turkey. Uh, a, a, a chair, Turkey stammered. Right next to me, said Mrs. Moose. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. Turkey seems a bit surprised, huh? He's like, uh, a chair? There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts, dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves thin and pale as ice on a new ice on a pond. I hope you find something to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. Oh, you are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I'd taste. Mm-hmm. I do think Turkey thought he was the meal. Oh, heavens no, Mr. Moose smiled, his big tooth smiled, and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, turkey. A turkey for Thanksgiving. And clearly... Our Mr. and Mrs. Moose wanted another friend to join them, though Turkey at first was fearful. He was the meal. They just wanted all their friends there. <laughs>